Hi guys, welcome to this solo nightfall guide. This one's kind of special. Obviously, heavy machine guns made a sensational but not quite a surprising return this week with the Thunderlord. So I figured what better way to mark the occasion than do a solo nightfall guide using the Thunderlord. So we're obviously doing it with uh, Arc, Arc Singe, heavyweight momentum. I'm using the insurmountable skull fort to go with shoulder charge to obviously if I need it to get the to get the grenades to come back. And basically we're gonna see how the, the Thunderlord performs. And at the start of this video I'm gonna tell you <laughs> yeah it performed. I mean this it's a one phase boss kill. It absolutely melts. I I've noticed that well obviously it says it in the, the tool tips, but that it, it does this thing that on kills you, you basically get this arc storm. Never had it in Destiny 1, but it is. You'll see right here. It is immense. It's so good. And it really does. It's not just there for show. It really takes enemies out. And I, as you can see here, the range. It's actually got decent range. I was wondering when they said heavy machine guns were coming back. Heavy weapon... Uh, LMGs were coming back. I was wondering where are they where's their place gonna be with snipers, rocket launchers, linear fusion rifles. Yeah, it's the back. If 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 the Thunderlord's anything to go by, heavy machine guns are gonna be a real option, a real option. And especially when you can get them in different burns, that'll be that'll be very good. So that's how we dealt with the first part. I always Having done this a lot more times now, I try and skip through the left-hand side of that train before before it even moves. It gives me a bit of a jump, and you know that's this, for anybody that doesn't doesn't understand the the use of the insurmountable skull fort. Shoulder charge on striker titan kind of does an area of effect, and that area of effect, if you have something like the insurmountable skull fort on, which gives you your melee back, the more enemies that you can kill with your shoulder charge, the more grenade energy it will give you back. So shoulder charging consistently can give you constant grenades, especially with something, like I said, the insurmountable skull fort, which gives you your melee back on melee kills. So this, I must admit, the last one I'd done of the, the, the last solo I'd done on this, I uh, I think I done it, I done it on the hunter. Was it the I can't, I think it was the hunter. Yep, it was the hunter on Arkstrader. I'm just jogging my memory. It was the hunter on Arkstrader, and I thought that was a pretty pretty good run, pretty easy run. This was so much so much easier, and that was due to the Thunderlord. It's been a while since I've ran anything on Ark Ark Singe, simply because. I've ran the Whisper for quite a lot. Oh, this, uh, the Thunderlord just... You can be so much more mobile. And I feel that makes someone like me... Makes me more attacking because... You know, the Thunderlord, you don't... When, when you're using a sniper, it's, it's common sense really. And you guys will probably understand that. When you're using a sniper, you need to plant yourself. You need to attack from a position. So you become more static. You become... In ways less effective, but I feel that when you're static, and I, I don't feel feel like this. It's a, again pretty obvious. When you're static, you're more susceptible to damage. The Thunderlord gives you that ability. It's like having it was it's, it's like using an OP an OP auto rifle. You know you can you can you can be more effective on the move. And I know that we're using heavy weight, so. The, the Thunderlord's damage is exaggerated, obviously, because of heavyweight. Regardless, if you compare this to a, a ti the, the time you kill, how much damage this is doing versus something like the Whisper, it, it, it competes. I mean, it's it just because you can go from, as you can see there, you can go from a focused boss kill straight to straight to an uh an ad clearing session in one fell swoop it's just 
It's it's literally the only reason I never used it for every single thing in this strike was because I was worried I'd run out heavy. But I was I was prepared to just use the just use the Thunderlord. So I'll say this say this now. I've actually done all the nightfalls. Uh, I've so I've got my solo runs ready to go on all of the nightfalls simply because I wanted to test the Thunderlord against what I felt. I done this first because I feel like the you know versus the inverted spire. I feel like this is probably more relevant. Uh, there'll be there'll be people still looking for the warden's low hand cannon, so I figured I would do this first. The inverted spire. I think normally I do like a twelve minute, thirteen minute run, which is pretty good. I think. I done a run. The first run I done, because I done a couple of runs, but I actually beat it, you know, more than once. I just wasn't happy with the, the way the run went, but it was an eight and a half minute completion. The actual run I'm gonna put up isn't just 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 over nine minutes, nine minutes, ten seconds or something. And I, the, the we done that much damage. I say we, the Thunderlord, <laughs> done that much damage that. The whole second floor, I, I, I was basically just standing waiting to go down again because he was immune. Uh, just in, in, incredible damage from the Thunderlord. Probably in that little bit between shouldn't have done that much and I wish I'd have done more. You know, that that kind of kind of place in between there. And the thing I noticed doing this straight with the Thunderlord was the part I always, I, I don't struggle with. I don't struggle with it, but the part I play differently to the way I would normally do any sort of strike is the the plate section. On the plate section, I when I done it last time, I just ran about on the plate. The Thunderlord gave me the freedom to attack everything that was on the plates. So I actually cleared every plate easily. I used my super, I think, for the last plate. But, uh, and as I say, it's a one-phase boss kill, which is, that's impressive. That's impressive. So, I enjoyed the quest as well for the, today's mission. It was nice to go back to the Cosmodrome. Uh, obviously it was the Rise of Iron version. Felt like it. But it was good, it was fun. Uh, and, and actually, I never put it up, but last week I'd done a, I'd done a Tree of Probabilities run and dropped the DFA on the Tree of Probabilities, which was cool. Fully masterworked, which is always good. And then today on the Inverted Spire, I dropped the Trigomatica. I think that's what it's, I think that's what it's called. It's, it's the ghost. It's the specific drop from there. Both first time. So I suppose it's luck of the draw. If you're looking for this... This, I would suggest to anybody, if you're looking for a strike-specific loot, no different from, from year one, make sure you get the, the, make sure you get the high score. And again, I've said before in the videos, uh, and it's why you don't see them on my channel, I've said before in the videos, if you guys want to see high score runs, if you want some sort of guide on, you know, some sort of guideline on how to get the high score, if you ask for it, I'll put it up. If you ask for it, I, I will make an effort. It's not really an effort. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just get one done. Uh, but this week, definitely, we're gonna have because I've, I've done them. I wanted to do. I wanted to test. I wanted to test the Thunderlord against every, every nightfall. So, uh, I will be putting up a guide on all three nightfalls this week, and. The Thunderlord prefer. I thought it. I thought it would struggle with Norcris, and no, it didn't really. It didn't really struggle with Norcris. It was a fourteen-minute finish on Norcris, which I'm sure you'll agree that's quite a good finish. So, yeah, my, but I sub. I wonder how long it's going to be. Has Bungie made it this good? And it's not, you know. No, actually, it is. No, actually, it is that good. I think. You know, and I, th I'm just wondering if 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 Bungie have gave it. I remember watching a documentary from 
uh, not really a documentary, more like more like a more like a vid doc type of thing from Bungie, where they said that you know to get people to use some of the weapons, and you know not us, but when they're developing weapons and they want some of the other people, some of the other developers to use these test these weapons, they'll dial the, the weapon up to eleven, and when people have said, oh I really like this and they get used to it, then they drop it down to like eight or nine. Now that's in house. That's Bungie employees. So people like John Wisniak and Josh Hamrick, the guys that are doing the weapons, they'll do that so that people at Bungie, that their their workmates, will tech will will use the weapons. You know, I'm just wondering if they do that with us, because, you know, how many times have have, have you seen a weapon, or got a weapon, and you've thought to yourself, this is amazing, and then after a couple of weeks, it does. It doesn't feel like it does the exact same thing anymore. I've noticed it myself. So as you can see here, I've completely cleared that plate. Never had to worry about running about or putting up shields or anything. And it's all thanks to this being uh, a completely different prospect. Now, I do switch. You'll see here, I, I, do, I don't just keep it on and blast everything with it. Because even though it is so good, you still have to be careful when it comes to drops. You still have to monitor. And I think that's going to be its Achilles heel. As it's it's absolutely amazing. Such a good weapon to use. But uh, you're going to have to monitor the, the ammo. Because you can burn. You can burn through it, obviously. And just uh, as you can see, I hope you guys are, anybody that's not unsure of this, I hope you guys are paying attention to the shoulder charging. Because whenever I get a, you know, not on not the super, just normal shoulder charging, with this helmet on, as long as I get a kill, I'll get my shoulder charge back. But the more enemies I kill with the shoulder charge, the more grenade energy I get back. So if I kill three enemies, there's a good chance I'm going to get a grenade in a bit, a grenade and a half. And, you know... And as you can see there, you can see where it says B, it's 8 seconds left. It's The timer stops when you're on the plate. So you've got, as long as, long as you get onto the plate before the timer runs out and don't come off it, you'll be fine. I'm going to drop a grenade in here. I don't actually know if I hit this. Oh, I did. And again, boss just peeks out. That's all you need. Just immense damage. And that's us on to the boss. And basically, you you want you want a rally barricade. I think that's I think I don't think that takes a lot of a lot of working out. I was looking to make sure I had enough heavy. And once you get the rally barricade up, once you get down there, uh there we go. And as you can see it's two twenty, that's what it holds. And because it's a heavy machine gun, there's no mod, there's no, uh, there's no armor that will increase its capacity just yet. Because I suppose we'll have to wait till Christmas for that when, when heavy heavy machine guns become the norm, or are in the you know the look pool, rather than just having a single exotic. But yep, we're gonna drop down here, and I'm gonna do it the same way I've done it with the whisper. I'm going to take the enemies out and I'm going to go to the far side, face the servitor, and melt the servitor. Exactly the same as I've done with the sniper. It's just nice to do it with a weapon that isn't the whisper, to be fair. So when you drop down here, take out... There's, there's normally a few more enemies than, than this. And then go over to this side... The open side where the chest is. That's this is where the chest will appear. Put down your rally barricade and meltage. Now, as you can see, I do get a ton of crits. I just wonder what, how fast it would have been if I'd have got total crits. And there you go, <laughs> melted. Uh, this uh, this video is up now. I will put up next, I'll put up the Inverted Spire next and then we'll put up Strange Terrain. Thank you very much for watching guys, I always appreciate your support. 
Take it easy, and I'll speak to you in the next one.